No matter what day of the week, sports cars are just expensive and everybody knows that. But if you're looking at buying a used car, it's getting more difficult because the prices of vehicles, both used and new, have increased. Used cars have gone up since June 26%. Typically, it's as high as 40%, depending upon what you're looking for. And it's becoming very difficult. Why are the prices high? We've discussed that before. There's a chip shortage. We all know that. So manufacturers can't produce cars, which puts a huge demand on used cars, which causes their prices to go up. But there are some secrets to buying your favorite sports car, and I'll explain. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix. If this is your first time here, we do more than first looks of new cars and car reviews. We give you car smarts because knowledge is power. Make sure to subscribe and click that little bell because you don't want to miss anything. I've been looking for a specific supercar for about six months. Like everyone else, you do all your research, you do all your homework and you miss a few and you try to place offers on a few and it just doesn't happen. Well, I was able to find a vehicle. But for most of us, your best bet is to wait if you can. And if that proper car shows up, you have to be prepared to move on it quickly. So to give you an idea, inventory is low on used cars. And many people are looking at that sports car they've always wanted because they're working from home and they think, you know what, if I'm gonna go driving, I'm gonna get something that I really want. So keep in mind, that that means these prices are higher. And last year, 41 million cars changed hands of all used cars, and that's a lot. And the used car sports car market has gone up dramatically. And that's why you need to do your research and have a few tips in mind before you pull the trigger and buy that car. History shows that sports cars will always tend to be in higher demand than SUVs and sedans, as they're deemed as more luxury vehicles. And to find current values on sports cars, supercars, exotic cars, hypercars, you wanna look at websites like Haggerty.com. They keep the current values so that you can find out the right price point that might or might not meet your budget. Whether you're looking for a used car, a sports car, or any type of vehicle, it's always good to have car smarts and you can get that information in my book, Lauren Fix's Guide to Loving Your Car. The link is down below. The best advice for those who are going to purchase a used sports car right now is to be patient and continue to research multiple outlets like autotempest.com, bring a trailer, eBay Motors, and lots of other websites. The used car market is a mix of those looking to make a quick buck and those who want to take advantage of the market. Be proactive in contacting people who own used cars, and that includes dealers. You wanna do your research before forking over large amounts of money and check with websites like vehiclehistory.com and Carfax, as well as the forums to get some details on that vehicle before you make an offer. Now, using these resources is important. The vehicle might have received some serious damage in the past, which the seller could have hidden from you. And there's a chance there's some significant changes have been made to the vehicle or potential damage that you won't find out any other way. So you think you found the vehicle that's right for you. You've been searching, no matter what type of used vehicle, a sports car or otherwise, and you think this is it and you're ready to make an offer. Before you do, get the vehicle inspected either by a mechanic or get an appraiser to come out. They'll look at that vehicle, they'll take pictures of it, an appraiser is gonna take much more time in the detail of this vehicle. Pictures of the window sticker, the title, the lien release, and any documentation. That's important when you're buying a sports car. Not as critical when you're buying a used car. When you're buying a used car, you wanna make sure a mechanic goes through this thing, you're gonna pay for an inspection. It's worth every penny. You'll find out secrets about this car you may not know. Was it flood damage? Was it an accident? Things that Carfax and vehicle history don't report because they don't have everything. Once you've had somebody inspect the car and you've paid that fee, the next thing you wanna do is get a copy of all that paperwork and take the time to do a deep dive, especially when you're looking at an expensive sports car. This is an investment. And places like Haggerty are always talking about doing your homework before you make this purchase because once it's yours, many cases, there's no way to return it, even if it's a certified pre-owned and you probably don't wanna return it because the paperwork's just a plain nightmare. Here's the bottom line. The demand for sports cars is really high and the supply is unfortunately very low. And these sell so quickly, typically within hours. So it's important that you one, be patient and two, make sure to get the vehicle you want and don't settle for it. And if you're patient, you'll get your dream ride. I just got mine.
I'm sure you have some additional questions on sports cars and used cars and getting some great deals. Put that down in the comments down below. And if you got value from this video, make sure to like it and share it with your friends. We do appreciate your support. And for more information, check out our website, carcoachreports.com. Follow me on all forms of social media. We just put out a very cool Raptor video and a lot of other normal daily driver cars. You can find me on all forms of social media at Lauren Fix. Check out our podcast, Total Car Score, and we will look forward to seeing you next time.